topics. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to dockerize a simple Spring Boot application. So you can have a uh, simple Spring Boot application from the Spring Initializer. Uh, you can have the required dependencies and then you can generate the project and import on the IntelliJ ID. So I have done the step and in addition to that I have added one health controller. So it has one health status endpoint which returns this string. So uh, let's uh, dockerize this application. Uh, so the first step we have to do is uh, we need to have one docker file. Uh, so this is my uh, base repository. So I'll create one docker file here. So this file is created inside this uh, base directory. So I'll write, uh, write some command here. Uh, the first one is from uh, I'll have one base image Java 8. So the base image will be available from the Docker Hub. It will download here and then uh, add. So I'll have my jar of uh, that Spring Boot uh, project inside this folder with some jar name sorry and then I want to uh, name that jar so uh, what it will do is it will add the jar from uh, this folder structure with this name any name dot jar and then create docker app dot jar in the uh, base directory in the uh, the docker uh, yeah base directory docker base directory so um, we can define any uh, like uh, custom directory also but this will be the uh, uh, default one so in the default directory this jar will be available docker app dot jar so uh, the next is uh, I'll expose this uh, to some uh, a port number. Uh, let's say eight 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 eight. And then when I'll have this uh, image, uh, so and when I run this image, I want to execute some command. So that will be inside the entry point. the command will be so we'll be running this uh, spring boot application as a jar so we know that uh, how to run a jar so these are the parameters i need to pass here sorry and the, uh, the jar name so the jar name will be this one So this is done here. I'm not adding uh, much steps here uh, to make it simple. So this is my Docker file. Uh, so the next step will be uh, to build image out of this project. Let's do that. So I'm in the same directory, this Docker demo. So Docker build minus t uh, i need to give the uh, i can give any image name so let's say docker uh, app image so i'll build a image out of it so you can see uh, the steps executed so it has uh, from java so it has got the uh, this uh, base image uh, it, it uh, using cache yeah it was so I have already done this I mean uh, uh, this uh, from Java 8 before also so that's why it, it is uh, it has on the cache otherwise it will take some time so 
so the next step is exposing and then this is the yeah yeah exposing and then the uh, uh, entry point so we can see these steps here so we have the uh, image here uh, we can check that as well doctor doctor images so i have lot of images uh, uh, so grab so what was the image name this is the image name yeah so it has the image so uh, the next step is to run this uh, image uh, inside uh, like as a container so this is the image name so what we will do is docker run minus p uh, so we have to map the port so uh, like in the docker so what will be the port will be running so let's say 80020 uh, uh, and then what port we expose 8888 P, and then the image name this is the image name so this is the image name so let's run it so it's starting <coughs> uh, started uh, docker demo application so let's check this whether it started or not so this is the 8020 port so it will be on the local host uh, 8020 and then ls yeah so we got it so we have successfully uh, dockerized this application so it is running as a container so that's it for this video uh, thank you for watching